Hello everyone, welcome back to Stratrise Finance. And just like that, we have zoomed past the first month of 2023 and it has been a great month for the bulls with the S&P 500 up more than 6.5% in January. The Nasdaq coming back with the vengeance up more than 11.5%. The Dow, which was the best performing index last year, has become the opposite, up just almost 3%. In today's video, I want to go over the dividend generator in my portfolio for the month of January 2023. Starting with my M1 Finance portfolio, whose value is currently $21,616. Year to date, my portfolio is up 4.64%, which is better than the Dow Jones and less than the S&P 500. Looking at the dividends from this portfolio, we first see Genuine Parts giving us $1.25, UGI $2.27, Walmart $0.88, cents, JetQ $7.90, Kimberly Clark $2.00, HPQ $1.74, JP $9.47, VT Properties $3.47, Pepsi $1.46, Merck $2.54, Altria $5.99, Omnicom $2.30, Metal Properties $2.70, Digital Realty $1.48, Negative and Platt $2.41, Realty Income $1.07, cents, WP Carry $3.18, Metronic $2.49, Oracle $0.76, cents. Cisco $2.44, then we have Comcast $2.11, cents. Devo $2.85, Edison International $2.49, JP Morgan $2.15, and finally Watsco $0.95. Cents. I track all my investments through Google Sheets, and this is the one for my M1 portfolio. As you can see here, this portfolio currently yields 4.17%, giving me an annual income of $901.57. Adding up all the dividends for January comes down to $68.35, which uh, when compared to January of last year, I say it was almost 40% better than that. And when compared to the first month of the last quarter, which was October, where it was $59.60, so as you can see the dividends are slowly rising the quarterly chart is also slowly started to creep up for 2023 which is really good same for the annual dividends with a consistent investment and the rising dividends this 2023 chart should be much higher than 2022 but this is my favorite chart of all showing how the dividends are growing quarter over quarter in a nice laddered way I'm sure by end of this current quarter, that's end of March, this bar should be higher than Q4. Now looking at expected dividends from my M1 portfolio for the month of February, you have payments from AT&T, Verizon, Newcar, Air Products, Texas Instruments, One Oak, Abvi, Realty Income, Morgan Stanley, Kinder Morgan, Caterpillar, Costco, Citigroup. Adding up all these, it comes down to $30.32. So that should get added to this bar. By the end of February, my 2023 Q1 bar, this one, should touch $100. Now coming to my Fidelity portfolio, in the month of uh, month of January, I received payments from Huntington Back shares for $2.42. Then Best Buy, $3.18. ADP 92 cents, JPQ and JP 60 cents each. I have one share of both of these in my portfolio here. My Mina Pipeline 82 cents. The IUSG growth ETF just 3 cents. It's a minimal holding that I have here. Iron Mountain 2 dollar 14. Broadridge 68 cents. Main Street Capital 38 cents. International Flavors 20 cents. Chubb 20 cents. Philip Morris, $2.63, Amphenol, $0.81, cents. Star Industry, $16, Thor Industry, $0.16, cents. Package Growth, $0.33, cents. All Rock Capital, $1.33, Mondelez, $1.53, Horizon Technology, $0.37, cents. Franklin Resources, $1.69, Federal Realty, $2.61, Main Street Capital, $0.85, cents. MSC Industry, $1.45, IDEX Corp, $0.42. Cents. This is my Fidelity dashboard in Google Sheets. So this portfolio currently yields 3.1%, giving me an annual income of $636.88. Now adding up all the dividends from my Fidelity portfolio 
for January, it comes down to $28.24, which when compared to January of last year, where it was $21.33. So it's almost uh, 30 plus percent uh, increase in this quarterly. We see 2023 starting nicely. Annually also, I have by end of this year, even this bar will be higher than 2022. Again, my favorite graph of all. We see here, nice laddered growth. Looking at uh, February 2023 dividends from my Fidelity portfolio, I should be expecting payments from American Tower, General Dynamics, Clorox, Northwest Bank Shares, Procter & Gamble, Abbott Labs, Omega Healthcare, Rio Smith, Hormel Foods, ASML, Matured Capital, Unum Group, Paychex. So all of them combined, it comes almost $25. When you go back to our dashboard, we see in last February, it was $23. But now we are forecasting $25 as of now. So we see a 10% increase. So by end of February, this uh, bar should be more than $50. And finally, this is my Econ's portfolio. The value is currently almost uh, $4,950. Currently yielding 1.68%. And overall income almost $83. As a very simple four ETF portfolio with the S&P 500 VOO being the highest at 55%, so mid cap IJH at 10%, small cap IJR at 5.1%, and the international IXUS at 30%. And this portfolio had nothing to generate uh, endurance for January. This is mostly uh, my third month of the quarter dividends come into this from the ETS. So nothing yet in 2023 here. Now this is my combined dashboard that includes all three portfolios. Here we can see the current value is uh, $47,091, currently yielding 3.44% with the annual income of $1,621.38. Now we gave ourselves uh, an updated goal of $1,800 as the income goal by end of this year, of which we have reached just over 90%. So another $180 in annual income to reach as our goal by the end of this year. So 11 more months to do it. I'm pretty sure with our consistent investments and the dividends raising, we should be able to hit that goal. Now looking at our uh, quarterly dividends growth, we see here, 2023 Q1 started almost $100 over here. So hopefully by end of this quarter, this bar should be higher than Q4. It's, uh, it gets really exciting to track your portfolio doing the, what it's meant to do, grow nicely, generate dividends on the side, pure passive income. This just gets to show you that uh, as long as you consistently invest into the market, choose the right investments, Invest into them when they are of a very good uh, valuation point. So buy them cheap. Just as Warren Buffett, it's one of his great sayings is, uh, it's always good to buy a great company at a low price. That's what we intend to do. I do share my monthly picks uh, of undervalued companies in the market at the moment. I'll soon be coming up with uh, my different picks for the month of February. Please do watch out for it. I do hope uh, this video was valuable. And I'd really appreciate if you could hit that like and subscribe buttons. So that YouTube can suggest this video to many more out there. And also, please do uh, provide your comments in the comment section as to how you felt about this video. I'd really like to connect with you all. And until we meet in the next video, let's try to do as much as possible to be financially healthy. And just like our channel's name, take strides towards that financial freedom. See ya.